the uh, Legislative Black Caucus has, wants to take this moment just to communicate with everyone. Our statement comes to you with, the, first of all, the sincere appreciation of all of the responses that you all have shared with us about our Black History Month. And we've had some internal discussions and this statement, this comment, if you will, is our Black History moment for the day. Black History is, the month is both Kentucky history and the history of this country. It's born of systematic exclusion and subjective inclusion. And it comes with the determination of will of a people who have said that we will not allow someone else to dictate our own history. Black History Month was born out of necessity and it was necessity that was caused by the refusal to share privilege, the perpetration of half-truths and lies, and the refusal of a people to accept that someone else's false portrayal of themselves would be allowed to stand. And so we lift up our own. We celebrate our own history and we share our own history. But we also recognize that our history is intrinsically tied with the history of this country and the peoples of this country. Native American people, European people, Jewish people, Catholic people. And so we want to invite you, not that you need the invitation, but we want to invite each of you, as you will, to share your black history moment, your black history story from your counties and your cities, independent of what we do. And this sharing can take place throughout the session. Mr. Speaker, throughout the session, it doesn't need to be limited to one month. Indeed, we will be sharing throughout the session. So we appreciate those of you who have come to us asking to be part of what we're doing. We simply invite you to do your own thing, to share your own history, your own story from your communities as part of Black History Month. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, gentlemen.